Nwa tu mikono mwambia buwana ni umbia moyo safi Tunapoenda kusikia neno lako buwana Tunaomba ukatumbia moyo mpia wakusikia neno lako na kubondeka Jinzi neno lako linatuamuru buwana Father we surrender to you We pray Father Lord that you transform our hearts You will purify our hearts You will change our hearts oh God that Father Lord you give us the heart that responds to your word that Father this afternoon will not just be the hearers of your word but doers of your word because it is in the doing that Father we will achieve the results of your word in the mighty name of Jesus Father we bless you we glorify you Jesus we magnify you Lord we want Father Lord to pray unto your servant as he brings your word this afternoon we want to pray for an anointing upon his life we want to pray that lord you will use him to minister your word according father to the needs of your people the bible say you are the one who searches the hearts we pray that your holy spirit will search every heart this afternoon and father you are going to respond to every cry of the heart that are represented here lord we pray even for those who are going to hear us, Father Lord, from our online platform, that, Father, the anointing that flows in this place, it shall flow unto their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We magnify you, Jesus, and we honor you, and we love you. And it's in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. And let everybody shout a bigger amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Celebrate your neighbor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Celebrate the other one in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And make sure you are giving him or I smile in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, in the house of the Lord, I always say, it is when you enter and you are sad, you receive joy. Amen. You receive joy automatically. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter what you might be going through, when you enter the house of God, something happens in your life Amen. and you begin rejoicing. Hallelujah. Amen. If you believe that, can you put your hands together and celebrate Jesus? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We bless Jesus because of this wonderful time. Amen. Amen. We can have our seats. Let us also celebrate the praise and worship team. In Jesus' name, amen. We bless the Lord this afternoon, and we bless the Lord for each one of you for coming. Thank you for your consistency, amen. Yesterday, we learned about consistency. So thank you for being consistent in our land, our services. We pray that every word that has been released will be a blessing in your life, amen. We want also to thank God for giving us the grace to be here on time. It was by the grace. Amen. It was by the grace and we bless the Lord. I also want to take this opportunity on behalf of our dad, our dear Reverend Brown, and our dear mom, Pastor Josephine, in the Absenjo. I want to take this opportunity. My name is Nelson Wanjala. I want you to help me in the Absenjo to put your hands together as we receive the prophet of the hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome, servant of the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much, Brother Angela. It's a joy. Uh, I want to say I have enjoyed being here truly. How many have enjoyed my being here? If you have enjoyed, I have enjoyed myself. I've been so blessed. Just to minister the word of the Lord is a blessing. Amen. I want you to write down uh, one or two things before we read the scripture. Before we go to read the scripture. Before we go to read the scripture.
Before we read the scripture, write down a few things. Number one. God has given me, write down, let it be you. I, in my notes, it's us, but I want you to write me personally. Personalize those words. The Lord God has given me the ability to accomplish the great assignments for my life for greater testimonies. God has given me, you yourself, ability, the unction, something that he has deposited in you. Paul says it this way, we have a treasure in these earthen vessels. We have a treasure in these earthen vessels. You are a storehouse of God. You are a storehouse of Jehovah. You are a reservoir. A reservoir of our God. And therefore, when I look in this house, I see a treasure. I want you to lift your hand and say, I am a treasure. I am a treasure. And I have a treasure. What God has put in your life is mighty. Heaven and earth cannot can pass away, but the word you have received this week is a treasure in, his, in your life. David says this way, your word have I kept in my heart that I may not sin against you. The Lord of the Lord is a lamp unto our feet. It, it lightens our path. It has made us not to sin against God. Because of the word of the Lord that is in our life, we cannot sin against our God. We will tell God, thank you, because of that word. That word is a powerful word in our life. That word is so powerful in our life. We will not sin against it. So God has given us the ability. The ability are in his word. So raise your hand and say, in the name of Jesus. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. That ability is already there. That's why the Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians that he has lifted us and has made us to sit together with Jesus Christ in heavenly places. We are not seated here in pipeline, in the church, spiritually, positionally in the Lord. Although physically, of course, we are located here because our body must conduct with the things that are of this, of this world. That is the earth and the things that there is. But our spirit is in conduct with God. And positionally, you are above the devil. I will repeat that. If, that, if you don't get that, then you didn't get what I preached the whole of this week. I said positionally. This body is in Kenya. It is in pipeline. It is here. It's located here. We have an ID. I have my ID here. But my identity is not in the identity of Kenya. I have an ID in the spirit. Anyone who is born again in, a, in his life, somebody who is born again, the person that is born again, that is you that is born again, you yourself who is born again, you are a new creation. You are born by the order of heaven, the order of the spirit. And therefore, because where Jesus is, is where you are, the devil must be under you. Okay, at least a half of you have gotten it. I say, if you are born again, you are seated together with Jesus, and Jesus is not seated here. He rose again and is seated in heaven. So where Jesus is, you are in him. You are his body. We are his body as a church. Therefore, the body cannot be in a different place, and the head is in a different place. Positionally, where you are seated is where Jesus is, and the devil is under your feet. Good. 
I was. That is what I wanted. I wanted you to get that because if you get that, then you have gotten what I've told you all this week. So God has given you ability. Somebody say, I have it. Say it again, I have it. I have everything here. Everything is here. And it must manifest slowly by slowly by slowly by slowly. But it's already there. Amen. Number two. God makes difficult places admirable through Jesus Christ. God makes difficult places admirable in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That is a very big amen there. Hallelujah. Amen. Very important. Therefore, as we finish, there are several things I shared with you. I can't summarize all of it. But there are opportunities, there are great things that the Lord has spoken to your life. I want to tell you, keep moving. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Stand for Jesus Christ. Don't cease to come for lunch hour. This is the bread of life. Jesus is the bread of life. Let me tell you, when Moses was a small boy, the Bible says the mother hid Moses for around three months. But later on, she realized Moses was bigger than where they are hiding. What made Moses bigger is the milk she went there every day to suckle, to give the boy. Anytime you come in the presence of God, God is adding something in your life. It may not appear. Sometimes I've seen people. I've when I'm, I stay with people, when you stay with the people, you stay with your children. It is the people who come from outside who sees that your children are growing. We unaona kama wanafa bado hawakui, lakini akiingia mtu anasema huyu mtoto amekua. You are growing. I said you are growing. As you come in this lunch hour to hear the word of God, you are growing. You are growing. And soon and very soon, you'll be preaching more than I'm preaching. That's why I came here to tell you this. Soon and very soon, when you grow up, you preach more than I'm preaching. And it will not be long. Some of you, it is only two years. Some of you, it may be three years. Some of you, even now, if I throw this microphone in your hand, and I give you the notes I have. You can even preach better than I'm preaching right now. Oh, As a father and as a leader, my assignment is to make myself irrelevant. I will say that one again. There are things at this moment I don't do. When I am at home and I want to go somewhere, I just call one of my sons and they drive me. Now I don't do some things. Why? Because my sons do better than I do. That is my desire and my prayer. May you arrive in a place where you will handle the word of the Lord better than I'm doing here. That is my prayer for you. I pray for you. I pray for you. I said I pray for you. Please, my sister, put for me there uh, Acts of the Apostle, chapter 20, verse 32. That is not what I want to teach, but put it there. I want to release because I sense, apart from what I want to share, I release my heart on you right now. I want to release the, 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 the heat of my heart to those people who are in this lunch hour. Nataka niache kitu. Kisito Daniel Mashako. Now, so now. Someone say now. So now, my brethren who are in this church this afternoon. So now, my brethren. I commend you to God. I'm going to say it again. I commend you to God. I don't commend you to anything. I wish I had money. I would have given you. I wish I had power. I would have given you a promotion. I wish I had land. I would have given you. Because I know some of you want to be landlords. Some of you want to, to be landowners. Some of you want to build houses. Some of you want to do many things. But I wish I had those in the physical. But such as I have in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I commend you to God. I commend you to God. Number one. 
I commend you to God. 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 And to the word of his. Somebody shout again. The word of his. The word of his. The grace is going to work it for you. It is not you going to work. The word I'm preaching. And it's a word of grace. It's not a word of condemnation. And I thank God I've never condemned somebody since I came. But I've released a word of grace. That word will build you up. I say that word will build you up. One day in the name of Jesus. I said one day in the name of Jesus. And it's not going to be long. It will be very soon. You'll be far from where you are. You'll be doing what I am doing. And better than I'm doing. You will reach people I cannot reach. You will touch lives I cannot touch. You will go places I have never gone. May the grace of God, through the word I speak, begin to our life in your life. Let it begin to manifest in your life. Lord, I commend my brethren into your hand, O oh God, and to the word of grace which I have ministered this week, a word of encouragement, a word of lifting, may it be in you in the name of Jesus. That word of grace, it has the ability. I told you God has given us ability to do great assignments. Those things I told you are in the word of grace. It has the ability to build you up. Let it build your business. Let this word build your husband. Let this word build your wife. Let this word build your ministry. Let this word build what you are doing. Build your career. Build what you are touching. May the word of the Lord, which is able to build, build everything in your life. Build your vision. In the name of Jesus, I commend you to God. Hakabushanda. I don't know any God father in the government of Kenya. But I have a father God. I don't have a God father. But I have the father God. And he's a God of heaven. I commend you to him. I said I put you in his hand. May he carry you. May he carry your family. May he carry your business. May he carry everything that you have committed in his heart against that day. Paul says, I, I, I am persuaded. I'm not worried of anything. But I, I am persuaded that what I have committed in his heart is safe against the day of trial. I am not worried. When I go back to Mbale and you are alone in the pipeline, and you are not near me. I wish I was around. I would have employed a watchman to take care of your life. But I have a God. I said, but I have a God. And he has a word of grace. Which I have released today. May he guard your life. May he secure your life. May he be your security. May he surround you like a wall. All the days of your life. I say in the name of Jesus, when I cannot see you, when you cannot see me, when you cannot call me, there is a God. That God, I commend you in his hand. I say that I commend you in his hand. And in his hand, that God and the word of grace is able to give you He's able to build you and not just leave you empty. You can build a house, but nothing is inside. You can build a shop, but there are no merchandise inside. You can build a garage, but there is no car inside. But today, that God is able to build you out. And he's able to give you. He's able to give you. An inheritance. Something you have never worked for. Something you have never toiled for. Something you have never prayed for. Something you have never labored for. God is about to give to you. 
something, something you have never labored for. An inheritance is imparted without work. Therefore, this afternoon, I release something you have never worked for. Something you have never prayed for. Something you have never sought for. May the God of heaven, whom I have commanded you in his heart, and in his word of grace, let him build you up and give you. He doesn't leave you without anything. He's a giver. He's a giver of life. He's a giver of grace. He's a giver of inheritance. He's a giver of land. He's a giver of vineyard. He's a giver of houses. May you receive that God. I said that God. Not any other God. Not in the hands of a preacher. Not in the hands of a prophet. Not in the hands of an apostle. He may fail in one way. But I hand you over. By the word of God. The God of heaven. El Shaddai. The I am that is I am. The unchanging changer. The lily of the valley. Oh the bright and morning star. The kinsman redeemer, the lover of the unlovable, the changer of those who cannot change. That is the one I release him into your heart. I command your life. I command your job. I command your children. I command your ministry into his heart. I command. I command. I command. I commend you in those hands. It's has an inheritance. Nothing you have labored for. Thank God for what you have labored for. You already have it. But what is giving you, you have never labored for it. What is about to give is a free gift from a father. Of all truth. And every good and perfect gift comes from the father of the light. And in him there is no darkness. He is not dark. There is no darkness. Whatever he has said will come to pass in your life. And whatever is released through my mouth as his servant, may it come to pass. That God. That God. That God. He is God. He gives an inheritance among the sanctified. Hallelujah. If you didn't qualify, to be among the sanctified. May the word I'm releasing carry you from where you are and put you in the company of the sanctified. Those who have been forgiven their sins. They have packed away their diseases. They have taken away their iniquity. Whom the fall, whom the curses of Shangazi, the curses of ants and under people, and even preacher shall never follow you again. You are in the company of the sanctified. That's by washed by the blood of Jesus. Cleansed from head to toe. Sins are forgiven. A new creation ready for the sanctified. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That is my prayer for you. I commend you to God this afternoon. Oh, I commend you to God. I say I commend you to God. This afternoon, he is able. He is able, not only able, he's ready. Not only ready, he's right. People can say you don't qualify, but when he qualifies you, he is right. He is right. He is ready and he's able. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. I commend you. I have a recommendation. I qualify to recommend you. As a servant, I recommend you. My ministry is to reconcile God and the people. And therefore, I stand here and recommend you. You qualify to go in. You qualify to receive. You qualify to be blessed. You qualify to receive. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I say you need to. I say you need to. I say you need to. Something is happening already. I said he's doing it right now. 
the way I see you, the way I see you, you are shifting in the spirit. I can see you shifting in the direction of the sanctified. You, nobody will follow you to serve the Lord. Nobody will follow you up to be holy. Nobody will follow you up not to commit sin. You are already sanctified. Set aside by the word of the living God. That I have released over your life this week. That word is water. It washes you. Raise your hand and say thank you Lord. I am sanctified. I said I'm sanctified. Tell him I'm sanctified. Tell him I'm sanctified. Therefore because of that. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. And I now pray for you. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. Quickly I want to pray for those 10 things you have written down. And when God fulfills one, you'll be ticking and you'll be telling the Reverend Brown and Brother Nelson here and Mama, the Lord has done it. I prayed for that thing in the lunch hour and the Lord has done it. Anytime you give a testimony, you are prophesying to your own life for the next miracle. Testimonies are words of prophecy because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he has given you 10 shillings, he has the capacity to give you 10,000. And if he gives you 10,000, he has the capacity to give you 10 million. And if he can give you 10 million, he have the capacity to give you 10 billion. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And forever. Listen to this. So he answered and said to me, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. Remove the word Zerubbabel. Put your name there. This is the word of the Lord for Isaac Wawire. This is the word of the Lord to Isaac Wawire. This is the word of the Lord to Isaac Wawire. This afternoon, the month of, or no, of November, the day of grace over your life. The day of grace over your life. Something you have never worked for. You receive by grace. Those things you are receiving there because of the day of the Lord. When the word of the Lord is coming to you, may you receive. Ay, 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 ay. Look at the word. This is the word of the Lord to Isaac. Not by might. We don't have might. All of us here, if boxer comes here, he will knock us one. We are on the floor. We don't have might. If they say we want to meet the president of Kenya, we will have a lot of trouble. We must look for MCA. We must look for the minister, the women rep. Then we must go to Matiangi, who will take us to Ruto. And we may not even reach because they are not talking. So we are in trouble. We don't have that might. But thanks be to God. I say thanks be to God. It is not by might. Ebu angale jirani yako mwambia si kwa ngufu tafadhali. Si kwa kuchulikana. Si kwa kuwa wewe ni nane. It is the word of grace. It is the grace of God. It's not whom you know in the government of Kenya. It's who knows you from heaven. And that is your father. He knows my name. The one who has called you by name. Hallelujah. It's not by mind. We are not that mighty. Hata kama tumefaa. Hatuna bling bling. Hatuna gold kwa masikio. Hatuna gold kwa mapua. Hakuna gold kwa mdomo. Hakuna gold kwa mkono. Hata huna saa. But. Hallelujah. Say it is not by might. Tena si kwa sura. Kama ni kwa sura. Mimi nige kuwa mutu wa mwisho kuwa ubiria. Uso unakaa pana. Nini. Yani kila kitu haiko. Si kwa sura. Mie jirani yako si kwa sura. 
in the name of the word of grace. Woo. I said it's the word of grace. There are better looking people, better English people, people with grammar. They would be here talking, but the grace does not care. It is not by power. It is not by mind. It is the spirit of the living God. Somebody should rejoice. I said somebody should rejoice. Alichakuwa vile vitu ambavyo ni bure akavileta. What was your far? Akawaleta. What was was your soma? Akawaleta. Was you na dunia hii? Akawaleta. Wakashika injili kama Petro, kama Yohana, kama wewe dada, kama wewe ndugi, kama wewe msichana. We are here by the spirit of God. The same root word for grace is the same root word for the Holy Spirit. Charisma. They all come from the same place. Woo. Hallelujah. I commend you to God. And this word of grace which releases the Holy Ghost who takes over the place of power, who takes over the place of might and lifts you up. It is not by mind. It is, it is, it is. So unasikia unachemuka sasa? So umesikia umechemuka? Nikikupatia hiki pasa sauti saa hii, utahubiri kuliko vile ninahubiri. Hiyo kitu iko ndani pale. It is not by might, it is not by education, it is not by English, it is by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Nimeona, nimeona. Hii kitu kimeingia tayari. Hii microphone nitarusha sasa. Kuna mtu atachemka na hii kitu. Hallelujah. It is not by education. It is not by the grammar. It is not by you whom you know. It is by the spirit of the Lord God. Not the spirit of Kenyans. Not the spirit of the Kikuyu. But the spirit. Ah. Stand up. Stand up. I'll finish another day. Stand up. I'll finish another day. I'll finish another day. The Spirit says, Hello. Where are you? In the name of Jesus. Who are you? Somebody say, Who is this? Say, Who are you? 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 You mountain. You mountain that is standing on my look at your eh, look at your eh, talk kama una toka toka na karatasi yako ile uliandika 10 things eh, praise him chukua ile karatasi yako kama uliandika 10 things i said yesterday nikisema who are you unaangalia hiyo karatasi there are 10 things i wanted you to pray for the lord to do in your life if you have them hold them now look at that paper and say who are you who are you say again who are you Oh great mountain. Oh great mountain. Oh look at your paper and say oh great mountain. Okay. Oh poverty. Of lack of money. Of lack of education. Of lack of ability. Of timidity. Of fear. Prayerlessness. Not doing the work of the ministry. Hey who are you? Somebody clear who are you? Who are you right now? Bonyesha kidole. Who are you? You 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 you. Ati sina pesa kwa mfuko. Ati siwezi kulipa fees. Ati siwezi kuutness. Ati sina power ya kukamea mapepo. Ati sina hii. Ati corona imetuletea shida. Ati sina mali ya kulala. Who are you? Who are you? Somebody say who are you? Who are you? You mountain. You mountain. You mountain in my life. Unanitisha paka siwezi kulala. Unanitisha narudi nyumbani kama giza imeingia. Watu wasinione. Ninasunguka sunguka kwa nyumba yangu. Who are you? Who are you? Oh mountain. Before Isaac awiri. Put your name there. Before so and so say, who are you mountain? Before put your name. Isaac awiri. You shall be flat. I said you shall be flat. You shall be flat. 
you shall be fly. And whatever the Lord has begun in my life, I am going to complete it with a shout of grace. Somebody say, a shout of grace. Those ten things, those ten things you have written, all of them are coming to pass. And there will be a shout, grace. Am I hearing somebody shout, grace. Shout again, grace. Shout again. Shout again. Yes. Ten times. Yes. Let's begin. Three, four. Yes. Grace. 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 Hallelujah. Shangriya yes. Worship the Lord. Sangria Bona, Mamia Bona, it is there. Ten, the shout of grace, 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 shout of grace. Every item has gone by grace, every mountain has gone by grace. By a shout of grace. Yes. By the shout of grace. Yes. It is not by might. Yes. It is not by power. Mm. It is by the Holy Ghost. Yes. It is by the Holy Ghost. Yes. Father, Woo. we receive. Yes. I said we receive. Yes. Everybody rejoice. I receive. I receive. By, grace. by grace. By grace. By grace. I am in the hands of God. And in the word of his grace that is able to build me up and give me an inheritance among the sanctified. Therefore, I am sanctified. I am righteous. I am a child of God. I'm born again by grace. Hey! Hey! Hallelujah, hallelujah. Shangilia, one, Shangilia. Shangilia, Shangilia, yes, Shangilia, yes, Shangilia, Shangilia, Grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Walk in that grace. Sing in that grace. Preach in that grace. Give in that grace. Shine in that grace. Be established in that grace. Be established in the grace. Wangabi wana skia wame ingia pale Wame ingia pale Wame ingia pale I wanted us to To, to chase it to take a Nina malisia pale Kafupi Shangilia Yesu Shangilia Yesu Shangilia Yesu Shangilia Yesu Shangilia Yesu Shangilia Yesu Shangilia, 
Receive the grace. 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 The word of the grace. The word of grace. The word of grace. Is able to build you up. To establish you. To give you an inheritance. To give you peace. To give you joy. Yes. To give you understanding. Yes. The Lord bless you. Yes. The Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. I love you guys. Amen. I love you people. Yes. Lord bless you. Bless you. Yes. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. 